there, everyone. First off, let's just ignore all of the noise that's going on upstairs. Mark is doing the bathroom. So if you can hear noise, I am literally directly <laughs> below him. And also just, yeah, just ignore. Just ignore anything really. I've literally got you balanced on a kitchen roll. Um, I'm just checking if you can see anything. Oh, yeah, it's pretty bad, pretty messy. Let's not be a uh, let's not be your end bush. But yeah, welcome back to a new vlog. Um, obviously, this is all very new to me. Oh, I need to not lean on the table because it's shaking the camera. Sorry. Obviously, this is all very new to me, and yeah. I am just in this mood. I just want to constantly have the camera on, just getting content and yeah. So I thought I would start the day and start this vlog off with a, a May favorites, basically. What I've been living the past couple of weeks. Um, and yeah, I just thought I'll show you what I have got in the month of May. Okay, so starting off with a basic, this La Roche Posay triple action balm, anti scratching, anti dry skin flare ups, immediate soothing. And when I say this stuff, it's amazing, it's literally amazing. I got it last year, um, I brought one last year, the first time I brought one was in summer last year when I went to Cornwall and I had it and I was putting it on my legs and oh my god it gives you the nicest like it looks like you've put oil on your legs you know it's very hydrating so good and it's just basically been my trusty steed, seed, steed, trusty steed, trusty Steve, it's not Steve steed I'm a bit thick so um you have to uh yeah ignore that but yeah this stuff amazing i love it i think it's like 20 quid as well which is great and it's it's massive it's big it's it's a big bowl so next is another old day but a good day also some i think that you know if you've got scars stretch marks and even skin tone or aging and dehydrating skin i think everyone's pretty much got one of these haven't they really but bio oil bio oil i recently i mean you know as well when i was younger going through puberty i just got stretch marks in places um and i used to use that and recently since i mean i said on my last vlog that i am um dieting i'm doing the keto diet and it's all going very well but um yeah i have been using this stuff because i thought basically I, I got some scars around my hips it's only like two or three lines but um yeah i was just like these need to like obviously i know that they won't go they're a scar but i want them to just be minimized they're quite you know um red they just look quite they look sore basically so i brought this trusty love it another trusty steve steve maybe i'll just say trusty steve um but yeah it's another another good purchase which i'm happy with because already i can see the difference and i've literally been using it for like a week and they have had a significant difference so yeah that's great amazon okay next up is something that I've seen on TikTok, especially a lot of people talk about, um, well, just in general, actually, a few people on Instagram, and it's a lot of money, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of money. Well, it's like over a hundred pounds. And so I was a bit sketchy about buying it, but basically I found one brand new on eBay, love an eBay find for 50 quid or 60, I don't know, but, I think it was 60 actually and it is one of these the new face 
Um, <laughs> God, this is bad, isn't it? I actually don't even know, like what actually. I know, I know it sends. Basically, this this thing here sends something like it's like a a vibrates. I don't know, but you know, you do it on your skin five minutes a day. I think it said five minutes a day for a certain period of time and then after you only need to do like top-ups you don't need to do it for like every single day but um yeah i think with this as well i think it's working you know it's good for i believe it's good for def definition um wrinkles and i've been using it around my smile lines and yeah i i'm a fan basically i'm a fan um, I will probably do a bit of an update of that one as well because it is pretty pricey. It's a lot of money to be spending on something that might not work. Oh, Lee, get down, please. Okay, and then next up is a pair of shoes, actually. So these, basically, I am obsessed with the Hermes shoes. Hermes sandals, sorry. Just taking them out there, tissue. I'm obsessed with the Hermes sandals. Obviously, don't want to pay the price tag of how much they are, 500 and something pounds, 600 maybe. So I came across these and they're leather. They've got a really good, let me just show you first, but it's these. It is the Steve Maiden. Um, is it Steve Maiden or Steve Madden? I don't know. But they're a tan colour, great for summer. Really happy with them. They've got a really nice... Um, like a really nice spongy leather sole to them. So they're comfy as well. I just don't like sandals. Like obviously these are quite flat sandals anyways. I don't want ones that are literally like feel like you're touching the ground. I want to have that good cushion. These were on sale for, I think it was 49 pounds. It was below 50, 50 quid for these bad boys. I don't think that wrong way around i don't think that is bad at all i'm happy with this i'm happy with them a lot and they're really comfy they fit me well so yeah might even buy them in a different color who knows so moving on now this this is i would probably say my favorite out of all of the things and it is the by Terry. I feel like one of those. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The by Terry Brightening CC Serum in the shade Sunny Flash number four. Wow, I love it. It just gives you. I just, I can. I will put that on and just walk out the house genuinely because you know when you when you wake up and you know when you wash your face and put your moisturizer on and whatnot and you look and you just like okay. It is so loud downstairs. You know what, you might not even be able to hear me at all, so let's keep our fingers crossed. Um, but you know when you moisturize and you just look a bit red, you know, you've got a, a bit of redness here, you might have a bit of redness here, who knows? I pop this on and, sorry about that, my battery died, but another one, um, another thing that I have been really liking as well, um, you girl ain't been on holiday. It's been a long time. It's been pre-COVID since I've been on a plane and I've actually got Dubrovnik booked with the girls and that's in a couple of months. That's in July, beginning of July, so I'm so excited for that. Um, but yeah, I just need a bit, of, you know, I need a bit of that, a bit of a, a bit of a tan on my face. So I've been using the Saint-Tropez Lux Tan Tonic Drops and it says i've been using it on my face but it actually says that you can use it on your body as well which i didn't quite realize apply direct to clean dry skin or blend two to th six drops with your moisturizer i have literally just been putting my moisturizer on and then um putting it over the top of my moisturizer and it has just been given that it's just basically been giving me a new lease of life basically so yeah that is it with the favorites I've also brought something which 
I am using for Mark keeps on going in and out. Which I don't mind because I want the bathroom done. But um I have I brought this from Amazon actually, um, because it was cheaper on Amazon than it was anywhere else. But I brought this for my eyelashes and it is just the Pucker Organic Cast Oil. I know that, what the hell, look at the size of this. I've got quite a long face, may I say. I've got quite a long face. So yeah, these things are big. Um, I brought this, 250 mil, and I've been using it for my eyelashes. Just been getting, you know, like um, a clean eyelash brush, um, like disposable ones, and putting it on my eyelashes at night because I have the like thinnest, shortest eyelashes and I really wanted the what's it called again what's it called now the um oh, revitalash I really wanted the revitalash but no I don't want to spend I can't I, I mean I can't justify spending 100 pounds I know it is insane because I've looked at all the reviews but I just thought I'll go with this for now see how it goes it was literally eight pounds um, and obviously you can use castor oil for other things as well, you know, I think it's pretty much what I say, yeah, yeah, use to mat for a massage, skin, hair, yeah, I could put it in my hair, I haven't tried that yet, but I will try that, but yeah, so this isn't, this is just something that I thought probably will be a favourite of mine, because I've also watched YouTube videos, and that comes up good, so yeah, I've got a few oil, to be honest, three oils in here, a serum, a moisturiser, a little gadget and a pair of shoes. They are my main favourites. Um, plan for today is I'm going to go to m and I have a bag that I brought which is a bit of like a Loewe jute bag. Um, so I need to go and pick that up. I'll see if I like it or not, if I like the quality. Um, and if I do I'll keep it, if not I'll return it. Um, I need to go and to actually send off some returns as well <clears throat> um and yeah and i'll give you a little update of the bathroom so yeah <laughs> pounds later and we're done god that was expensive I was not expecting it to be that pricey um right then what did I get got the bag let's have a look at what it looks like shall we also got this salad got myself to eat now because I'm absolutely starving sorry about the lighting just realized that I'm actually sitting my back to the sun Let's see about this, shall we? Oh, oh, okie dokie. Problem is, I did see on the reviews because this was sold out, and I take it it's because oh, it's so cute. How cute is this? It's like twenty nine fifty. Only thing that I was a bit gutted about is it's not leather. Like if I would have rather paid. 50 quid or 40 quid or whatnot for the straps and this bit to be leather just because on the reviews it says that like these bit this bit of the bag well this was one review that it gets um it like dyed someone's arm so yeah but it's got like a little a little bag on the inside to keep all your stuff together i mean it's nice i like it i actually was I wasn't expecting it. M&S are just great though, aren't they? Let's be real. M&S are great. Okay. Well, I'll go and show it to Mark. I always like to get his opinion on things too. Um, wow. Huh. I should have probably looked at myself before starting recording. But yeah, got that. I need to go and take my returns back now. Eat my salad. Anything else? Oh, look what else I got as well. M&S 
Spanish chorizo crisps. I've never tried them before. Excited to try them, bad boys. Got Mark a few bits. Every time I go out, I feel like I have to get Mark something. I wish you did the same for me. <laughs> but yeah, I always feel like I just have to get him something. So I got him some iron brew, like a pack of iron brew, a chocolate mousse. Um, I probably got him a few other bits as well. But yeah, I think that's about it really. I'm going to enjoy my salad and I'll see you back home for a little bit of a renovation update. So, a little update for everyone. Mark has plastered this bit, the ceiling. Also, down here, along the doorway, and down there. This has all been boarded and, what's that word, Mark? Oh no, filled, yeah. That's been done. Electrics are in, which is great. We've got the electrics for, I'll just show you actually. So the beam, we are going to paint. Um, well, maybe paint, maybe, I don't know, sand it down, not decided yet, but the we're gonna have two down lights here. And then this back bit has also been boarded. We've got a little electrics for the switch for when you come in. And this has all been battened up. And the electrics are there for the TV socket. So it's gonna be higher. Because obviously when you walk in and you're gonna walk into there, the bed will be here. You don't wanna like bash your shoulder or anything on the TV. So yeah. That's gonna be like that, and it's gonna be like you know, on a bracket that you can kind of like pull out and whatnot. But yeah, all good. Mark has been absolutely hammering it away, and I have to just tell him to stop. But yeah, all boarded up. And then, what's the next step? And the next step is to batten up this wall. Is it the whole wall as well? So, batten up the whole wall get the shower tray in to measure up. Is that right? Yeah. I'm basically speaking on behalf of Mark here. I know absolutely nothing, by the way. Mm -hmm. um. Fit the shower tray down here. Don't mind all this mess, but fit the shower tray down here. Batten up this wall. Get all of the plumbings done. So obviously, you know, pop. What is it? Drill through the wall. Um, extract pans going up there. And then the wall is going to get all tanked so that it's waterproof. And then I think it's ready for tiling, isn't it? Yeah, there we're about. It's ready for tiling. So I'll give you more of an update on what basically when there's something to update about. Yeah. So I am going to end today's daily vlog here. Just gonna make a cheesy jalapeno creamy chicken thigh dish that i saw online and i had it last week and me and mark love it so i'm gonna make that now and yeah i um, been a productive day i feel good and i will see you on the next vlog thanks for tuning thanks for tuning thanks for watching bye